بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم تنظم فیل فرام سیکنڈ ایر ایم بی بی ایس فیصل آباد میڈیکل یونیورسٹی اینڈ ویلکم ٹو اینادر ویڈیو آف نیورو اناٹمی وٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ٹو ڈے از ٹو ٹیک یو تھرو دا اسٹرکچرز آن دا میڈ سیکٹر سیکشن آف برین بٹ بفور ڈسکسنگ دیٹ وی شوڈ نو دا پارٹس آف دا برین دی فور برین دی میڈ برین اینڈ دی ہائنڈ برین دی فور برین از فردر کمپوز آف ٹو پارٹس دی ٹیلن سیفلون which is composed of cerebrum or cerebral cortex, the diencephalon, which is made up of thalamus and hypothalamus. This is the midbrain, which is connecting the forebrain with the hindbrain. The hindbrain is composed of cerebellum, pons, and the medulla oblongata, which has been removed here. Now let us see the structures on the mid-sector section of the brain. First, we will discuss the structures in the cerebral cortex. The cerebral cortex is composed of depressions, these you can see here, which are known as the sulcus or sulci, and in between the, uh, these sulci we can see the elevated parts which are known as the gyrus or gyri. The first sulcus we, which we encounter in the cerebral cortex is the cingulate sulcus, this one. This cingulate sulcus starts Above the anterior end of the carpus callosum, this cart arched fiber is known as the carpus callosum and exactly above its anterior end, the singular sulcus starts and continues backward and ends exactly above the posterior end of carpus callosum. So this is the singular sulcus. And below the singular sulcus, this elevated part is known as the singular gyrus. Below singular gyrus, we can find Another sulcus which is known as the colossal sulcus which separates the carpus callosum from the cingulate gyrus. On the posterior part of the cerebral cortex, we can find another uh, sulcus which is known as the prito-occipital sulcus which starts from behind and below the posterior end of carpus callosum. So this sulcus is known as the prito-occipital sulcus. From the middle of this prito-occipital sulcus, there arises another sulcus, this one which goes backward with its convexity upward and this sulcus is known as the calcarine sulcus. So this is all about the sulci and gyri. Now this cut arch fiber is known as the carpus callosum which is actually a commissural type of white fiber which connects different lobes of the two cerebral hemispheres and below this carpus callosum we can find a cavity this one which is known as the lateral ventricle of the brain the two lateral ventricles are separated by a septum which is known as the septum pellucidum being attached to the lower border of the carpus callosum below continuing uh, behind we can find the diencephalon here below the uh, telencephalon this is telencephalon and this is the diencephalon which is composed of thalamus and hypothalamus and here also lies the exposed cavity of third ventricle the third ventricle is in communication with the lateral ventricle through a foramen which is known as the interventricular foramen so this this is the interventricular foramen or foramen of munro through which the third ventricle is in communication with the lateral ventricle. The third ventricle continues downward as a canal or a channel uh, which is the cavity of the midbrain known as the cerebral aqueduct and the cerebral aqueduct continues into the cavity of the hindbrain which is the fourth ventricle. So all the ventricles of the brain are in communication with each other. The lateral ventricle communicates with the third ventricle through a foramen which is known as the interventricular foramen or foramen of Munro and the third ventricle here which lies between the two diencephalons continues downward as the cerebral aqueduct which is the cavity of the midbrain and the cerebral aqueduct continues downward and is in communication with the fourth ventricle which is the cavity of the hindbrain lying between the pons and medulla oblongata and the cerebellum. Now coming towards the other structures which are present in the mid sagittal section of the brain. This is the diencephalon and here lies the exposed cavity of the third ventricle. In relation to the third ventricle, posteriorly lies a rounded body which is known as the 
pineal gland or pineal body so this is the pineal gland and in relation to the third ventricle anteriorly lies another rounded body which is known as the mammillary bodies which lies on the base of the brain so this is the mammillary body and this is the pineal body continuing downward this is the mid brain which lies below the diencephalon the mid brain anteriorly is composed of crest cerebri this is and this is the tegmentum both the tegmentum and crest cerebri constitute the cerebral peduncle which we can see on the base of the brain and behind this tegmentum there is the cerebral aqueduct which is the cavity of the mid brain and the part of the mid brain that lies behind this cerebral aqueduct is known as the tectum on the posterior side of the mid brain we can see two rounded elevations these rounded elevations are known as the superior and inferior colliculi continuing downward we can see other structures on the mid sector section this is the pons and below pons lies the medulla oblongata and this is the cerebellum and in between the pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum there lies the fourth ventricle which is the cavity of the hind brain it is triangular shaped and its flows lies anteriorly which is formed by the posterior surface of the pons and the posterior surface of upper part of medulla oblongata and its roof projects into the white core of the cerebellum you can see here and so this is the fourth ventricle which is triangular shaped the last structure on the mid sector section is the cerebellum this one which is composed of cerebral cortex on the outer side and inner is the white matter with this tree like branching pattern constitute the arborvitae of the cerebellum the on the external surface of the cerebellum we can find the fissures and rounded and the elevated structures in between the fissures are known as the folia so this is all about the mid sector section of the brain don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and thanks for watching